Welcome to another Moonlight Update. In this episode, we'll be looking at some basic principles and practices when using fonts in web design. Whether you do your work on a PC or a Macintosh, every computer comes with it a standard set of fonts. Many of these standard fonts are known as WebSafe fonts because they appear across a wide variety of computers. Any customized font, whether it's purchased or downloaded for free, will only appear on a website correctly if a visitor to the site also has the exact same font installed on his or her computer. When this condition is not met, WebSafe fonts come into play. WebSafe fonts are selected by website authors when they create web pages that have non-standard, custom fonts that visitors to their sites may not have installed on their computers. If this condition exists, the website will revert to the designated WebSafe font, also known as a fallback font, that was selected by the web page creator. Usually it's a close approximation of the original custom font. At present, technology has evolved to a point where visitors to your website can see custom fonts on your page without needing to have those fonts installed on their computers. These are called web fonts, and they are hosted on web servers like Google or Kernel. It's generally considered safe to use web fonts that are hosted on a remote server. They can cost anywhere from 5 to 500 US dollars. It is still recommended to pick a WebSafe font just in case certain characters are missing from the customized font, such as a trademark logo or a special character. To conclude, we recommend choosing a WebSafe font that's closest to the attitude of your brand. It doesn't have to be exact, just as close to the style of your brand as you can get. If your brand is clean and simple, choose Helvetica or Arial. If you're the New York Times, use Times New Roman. Simple is better. The most important thing is that it works seamlessly. That's all for now. You can visit moonlighthk.com blog to read our full blog post, or you can start a conversation with us at twitter.com moonlighthk. Thanks for watching.